Hey, it's Shai Sarai. Today is Saturday, March 27th, and we're gonna get our two mile run in outside today. There's actually a little park that's just a couple blocks from my house, so let's go. Okay, so we are back from our run. Um, I'm gonna eat my little handful of vitamins, um, the multivitamin and everything like that. And I'm also working on my first 32 ounces of water, so yeah. Okay, so for my first meal of the day, I'm having cheesy grits, shrimp, and tomato. Uh, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I love shrimp and grits. Okay, so it's a while later. I, I don't even know what time it is. I've been drinking ever since I had my shrimp and grits and I feel floaty. So I've got something super carby, super high calorie, McDonald's filet of fish and fries. I'm gonna dig in. Okay, so I'm still going strong with the booze and the food. Uh, we've got some kettle chips here, a jalapeno flavor. I'm eating them in bed. Um, and I'll probably use some salsa from one of our local Mexican restaurants too. We've got a bowl of peanut butter Captain Crunch and a pack of seaweed snacks. All right, let's get into this recap. I made a lot of bad decisions this Saturday and I'm not saying that to beat myself up. It's just that, you know, when you're wrong, you're wrong. And I was definitely in the wrong on this Saturday. I just had so much alcohol, you know, just so much wine. It was crazy. Like I threw up in everything. I don't even remember all that went on. I think after the seaweed snacks, I had a few more slices of pizza, um, some soup, maybe like an enchilada, but I gotta be honest, it's foggy. So let's get into these numbers. So 2,157 calories from food, 1,643 from alcohol, which leaves me with 600 calories left for the next four days. So obviously uh, 600 calories is not enough for four full days of eating. So um, I'm still deciding what I'm gonna do. You know, I can definitely say, you know, hey, you just gotta take the L, <laughs> you know, had a really, big Saturday bender um, and so just not gonna hit my calorie goal for the rest of March um, or you know I kind of think to myself well you know I don't have to give up yet you know I can definitely uh, knock out a few day water fast or something like that have maybe a 600 calorie OMAD on Sunday and then water fast for the rest of March um, so haven't fully decided yet I'm leaning towards the fast um, but I'm just gonna see how I feel, you know, I don't see the, any need to punish myself or anything like that, you know, but if it feels right and I feel like I can knock it out, like I've done many times in the past, um, done lots of 72 hour or three day water fast, um, then I'll do it. Um, and if it kind of feels like it's a bit too much, then I'll just eat. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's all I got. Thanks for watching and hanging in there with me and I will talk to you tomorrow.